it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate understand that no matter how huge the challenges are, how huge the struggles and the problems you are facing right now, understand that it's not your battles to fight. This is Shuntel and today's share is about understanding that no matter how huge the challenges we are facing, the struggles and the problems in life, it is not our battle to fight. I am sharing this with you from my own life experiences and of course from my own reading. Yes, from my own reading because I read a lot and I make use of my reading to share it with you in order for you to enlighten your mind that no matter how huge the challenges, how big the problems and struggles we are facing, remain at Rest. Remain a peace within your heart. It is not your battle to fight. It is just easy for me to say this to you at this very moment because I know that God is with me all the time. I trust Him that He is with me. I invite Him every day in my life. Therefore, I am confident enough that He is with me, He is leading me, He is guiding me every day, no matter what I am facing. Yes, it's not easy, but if you believe in God, I must share this to you, that His help is free indeed. But we must keep communicating with Him. We must keep inviting Him into our life. Yes, this takes a lot of faith, a lot of beliefs in your part. But when you believe in God and you know that He is existing in your life, it becomes easier for you to come unto Him, to confess unto Him, to let Him lead your way. The key here is keep declaring victory into your life. Declare success. Declare victory. When you keep declaring victory towards your life, towards your day-to-day -day challenges, it becomes easier for you to have the peace within your mind, to have the peace within your heart that you are not alone and whatsoever you are facing right now, everything will just be fine with you. Everything will work out for your own good. As it says in Romans 8, 28, all things are going to work together for good for those who love the Lord. You love yourself, right? We must love God as well. We must let Him guide us. We must invite Him into our life every day so He will be there with you all the time when you needed Him. It is about consistency, consistent of communicating with Him, acknowledging Him into your life. That He is with you every day, that He is leading you and guiding you no matter what you're facing. That huge challenge, that big problems is not your battle to fight. It is God's battle. You trust it to Him. You confess it to Him. But you cannot just confess it to Him without the belief, without the faith in Him. 
faith and believe in Him goes hand in hand in declaring your victory that He is there with you, He is working for you, and He is going to fix it for you. I am confident enough that I am safe in the palm of His hand because I know He is with me all the time. I know that I am inviting Him every day into my life. I know that I can get free help from Him. It's just I have to do my part. And what is your part? Is keep communicating with Him, keep verbalizing His goodness, and keep letting Him into your life. It is a constant communication with Him. And the Holy Spirit will be there and lead you and take care of your challenges. As it says in 1 Samuel 17, 47, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or swear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and He will give all of you into our hands. Yes, declare victory. Declare success in your life. God's favor is on the way. We have to understand that no matter how huge the challenges in our life, no matter how huge the struggles, we have to understand that we are not alone. Here's the point. If you believe and have faith in God, He will direct your path. He will direct the rock if you declare victory into your life. He will bring down the giants in your life. Every day you need to declare victory over what opposes you. Declare your purpose and destiny. Don't be passive. God has the favor, the healer, the abundance, the restoration, the sustainer. He will sustain you whatsoever you are facing right now. And practice this. Keep thanking Him in advance that no matter what you face, no matter how huge it looks, how big it looks, the problem is that battle belongs to God and not to you. He is going to help you use the right words to declare victory over your life. Believe and declare that as we speak words of faith out loud that we will see, He will release His blessings upon us. The promises in your life will come to pass. You have to practice the declaration of victory into your life every day because he promised that the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands just simply have faith and believe in him keep declaring his good purpose keep declaring this is that he is leading you to your destiny and remember to do, not, to do not be passive remember that God has the favor in your life God has the healer God has the abundance in your life those huge challenges those big problems and trials in your life does not belong to you. That simply you must understand that all those things are just trials, are just challenges that coming to pass. It's just passing by in your life. So turn it around instead of dwelling on it. Turn it around and believe that God is in control. Believe that God is working for you. Talk it 
all to God and know that He's there for you. Keep declaring victory into your life. Keep affirming positive things in your life and that will come into your life. Yes, it is about that when things are so huge and we are hardly coping it, we must turn it around and believe that God is there with you. He is always with you every day. So therefore, turn it all to Him and let Him handle and fight those battles that comes your way. This is Shundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my channel. I love you all. And bye-bye. Like we feel the same. We love what we have.